vinyl friends and vinyl community. It's Brian from Brian's Vinyl Records, and it is Monday, which means it's time for another episode of Vinyl Editions. So this weekend, I went and met a friend for lunch, and before I went and met with him, I stopped at one of my favorite local stores down in the valley, and then after lunch, I stopped at one of my other favorites, Mill City Sound, and was perusing through the records to see what I could find, and I came away with some pretty cool stuff. So let's get started. First, I went to down in the valley before lunch and found a couple things here. This is Huey Lewis and the News. This is Small World. I was actually surprised I didn't have this in my collection, so real happy to add it. Love Huey Lewis. I think he is one of the great rock artists of the 80s, and so happy to add this to my collection for Huey Lewis and the News. The next one I picked up, this one I was happy to see. They don't typically carry uh, this artist. Uh, they usually are out of stock anyway, and that's, you know what, Dolly Parton. I'm a big fan, so trying to gather as much Dolly Parton as I can. This is the Bargain Store, so happy to find this in the bins and can't wait to spin this one. Then I picked up a couple of brand new albums. This one came out a little while ago, but I hadn't picked it up yet. This is from a local band, a kind of a death metal or hardcore metal band called False here in Minnesota. I worked with the lead singer's brother-in-law, so that was kind of cool. And he introduced me to the band, got me their last album, and then let me know that a new one was coming out, and I finally was able to pick it up at my local down the valley. And happy to have this. this is called Portents, and uh, or Portent, I guess. And really looking forward to spinning this. The cool thing is that they usually they usually press about a thousand records, but they do them in 200 lots of different colors. So this one is the 200. Uh, lot of blue. I believe they also have a red. They have a multicolored, split colored version as well and things like that so it's pretty neat. The next one I picked up was the brand new album from Billy Corgan or William Patrick Corgan as he goes by now. This one is called Cotillions which if I looked it up correctly is some sort of a dance from France. Um, so no idea. He always names his stuff really weird. So looking forward to spinning this. I haven't opened it yet, but this will get on the turntable soon. Newest one from Billy Corgan. All right, so after I went to down the valley, I met my buddy for lunch, we ate, and then I went over to Mill City Sound, which was on my way home from where we were eating lunch, and stopped in there and picked up a few really good things. I'm in the middle of reading uh, Sammy Hagar's uh, autobiography called Red, uh, and so I've been real interested in hearing some of the stuff I hadn't heard before based on what I've been reading. And this is one I hadn't heard before, but I know it's a great album. So I picked this up, saw this in the bins. Montrose's debut self-titled album. It features the songs um, Ro uh, Bad Motor Scooter, which everyone should know, and Rock Candy, which were two big hits for the band. And this is one of the, I think... If I'm not mistaken, Sammy did two, maybe three albums with Montrose before getting kind of removed from the band. So this one, happy to add. And speaking of Sammy Hager, I also found this guy here. This is, I believe, uh, Three Lock Box by Sammy Hagar, one of his solo albums shortly after Montrose. This one, uh, let's see if I can find a date on here, 1982. So this is pretty cool. I'm looking forward to hearing this as well. It's not an album that I've heard before. So, adding to my Sammy collection. Then, uh, in one of my vinyl groups on Facebook, I saw a post for this album, and it was recommended to me as a really fun album. I thought it was kind of a live album, but it turns out it's just a soundtrack to uh, an ill-fated movie done by Paul McCartney. This is Give My Regards to Broad Street. So I always thought this was some kind of sort of live album, and that's because the soundtrack listing were all songs that um, the Beatles did or that he did solo. And so I thought, oh, well, well, I don't know if I really want that. But all the people told me it was great. It's remakes of songs. Uh, features David Gilmour on guitar on some of the songs. It's got a, just a cast of stars here. So real excited about this. I listened to it. It sounds great. There's a real cool version of Lawn and Winding Road on here that uses a saxophone in it. Just really cool stuff. So happy to have picked this one up as well. This next one, I was super pumped when I saw it. Not necessarily about the price, but I found out that it was actually a really good deal. This is the Civil Wars Unplugged on VH1. 
I had no idea that this even existed. And when I saw it in the bins, the price tag on it was $25. I get 10% off as a member, so it ended up costing me about $22 in the end. I was um, not sure that I wanted to pay that, but I had never seen this before, so I took a chance on it. I brought it home. It sounds absolutely fantastic, and the medium or the price that it's selling for on all sorts of different places, the lowest I saw was $45 for a not great shape one, and a lot of them were in the $100 to $200 range. So I think my $22 was super well spent on this really cool to have in my collection again it sounds awesome and just neat so civil wars unplugged on vh1 probably the pickup of the weekend for me all right then of course i went down into their basement which is where they have the country and soundtracks area as well as the 99 cent bin and i found another dolly parton that i do not have so another one to check off the list this is new harvest first gathering really pumped about this i can't wait to listen to it as well i'm really loving dolly parton albums and really enjoy finally getting some of these that you just don't see very often um, available on the in the stores up here i know she's probably very easy to find down in the south but uh, aside from the 80s stuff that's common you don't get a lot of the older dolly parton which i'm super happy to have this one here so i really excited about that the last album on the list that i purchased is another brand new album. This isn't new, but it's a new release. It's um, from, oh, what is this here? 2017, this is Samantha Fish, Chills and Fever. So this was recommended to me. I bought her latest uh, album, which is absolutely fantastic. And this is the one that everyone recommended I get after it. So pick this up. They have one more of her albums at my local store. So I'll probably end up picking that up as well at some point in the near future. So really, really good stuff. This is blues, fantastic guitar player. I love the vocals she does. The, her voice is, is, is kind of unique and it sounds really cool. I enjoy her a lot. So real excited to give this a spin and see how it holds up against the newer album, which I absolutely love. So Samantha Fish, Chills and Fever. And that is the end of my purchases for this last weekend. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Vinyl Editions. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button below. We'd love to have you along for the ride. Leave a comment, a questions, comments, anything down below. I love interacting with everyone in the vinyl community. Thank you again for watching. And until next time, keep spinning vinyl, friends.